Here's an area that uh, we have never seen on video before because we've overgrown the whole sales room and we're now into the warehouse. Brad Ward here, Ward's Auctions. Uh, one, one more sale for 2014. The viewing is going to be on the Friday, December 5th from 4 to 8. The sale is Sunday and Monday. The Sunday we open the doors at 10, we start selling at 11. We go to lot from lot 1 to 400. And, or maybe it's three ninety nine. I'm not sure. Look on your catalog, and then on on the Monday we open at four and we start selling at six and we go from the four hundred to the four hundred one up to lot eight hundred, roughly eight hundred and thirteen lots or so on the sale. We're in the warehouse because, like I said, we we exploded out of the the sales room. In here is primarily the assets of a uh, a coffee shop that was downtown Edmonton, Fresh Cafe. It was only open three years, so most of the equipment would have been bought new to open up that place. Lots of good stainless steel pieces and brand name pieces. There's a double sink there. There's two of these coolers. Um, little, little double door, roughly 14 inch. One of them's here. The other one we're actually going to use during the sale. I don't think the consigner will mind because we're going to show you how well they work. And, uh, and I think they're going to be very handy. Coffee makers, burners, uh, ovens. This one's a chest freezer. It's on a dolly so it looks like it it's actually sits this low. Very expensive, of course, coffee machine. Uh, you, you know, you're going to want to pay attention to that. Hobart dishwasher, again, brand name pieces, cash registers, coffee grinders, the list goes on. But it's obviously, everything's on the catalog, so have a look at the catalog. Wardsauctions.com, if you haven't already linked from there to get to here. There's tools from another situation. There's five, I think, different lots, or three different lots of, of uh, this was from the same coffee shop that has the, set it up on the patio outside. Behind camera off there is a, there's a bunch of a row of smalls that we won't have to, we won't show you this time. It's just the uh, the video gets too long. Lots of neat stuff. Look at the, the desktop organizer, similar to one I have at my house. Lots of good smalls, brass, little fountains. Those, those are just fun little items, not necessarily expensive by any means, but fun. Royal Albert China, little pig here. Decor items. There is items in here, furniture and smalls from from Jamin Builders from from the show homes. Again, antique box there, spelter there, some nice artworks. Um, again, have a look at the website to see some more of that stuff. Hummel lamps, you don't see that many of those. Antique jardinaires, fun stuff up here. Wash bowl set with several pieces. Interesting art glass, I'm not sure offhand if that was a signed piece, but it's definitely interesting. This is a retro set here. Five, six chairs and the, and the airbrite table to go along with that. Some pieces off camera here that were patio set, quality patio set, and so on. This is a good bronze, nice figure of bronze, some interesting porcelains. Here's a neat piece. Tobacco uh, box for, for holding your pipes and so on. The, the lock is really interesting. You slide it open to get access to the lock. I'm not sure if you have the key off hand, but that's not all that important. Pictorial book in here, just a million plates in here. Really quite nice. Some antique Dalton Lambeth and Dalton hats. These are these are bronze. Those are nice. Big Bell. And again, another piece of uh, bathroom set with multiple pieces in it. More decor items back here. Barley twist candlesticks. In here we've got the leak, uh, the cobbler or the shoemaker. I forget what he is there. The Earl Dalton. There's jugs. Uh, larger, earlier Dresden figures in here. More Lalique, more Daltons. Antique dolls, including a Jameau 1907, number 12? Uh, size 12. Size 12. Uh, this book up here is really neat with the Jesse Wilcox Smith uh, pictures inside here. You're going to want to pay attention to that one. The litho on this, on this hand crank toy sewing machine is near mint. Um, so have a good close look at that one there. Quite a lot of jewelry this time again. It's our last sale for the year, so it's a great time to go do some Christmas shopping. Diamond earrings, diamond rings, vintage uh, lavalier style pendant there. Necklaces and bracelets, pearls, Rolex watch on this one here with a diamond bezel. A gold watch on this one here. The appraisals are here. Take a look at the, uh, the catalog. This one's lot number 90. Uh, it's 18 karat. The other one is 289. Have a look at the appraisals in the in the catalog. Don't be afraid to do that and make sure you get your appraisals and look at them. Diamond bracelets, more diamond earrings, solitaires. Uh, we just passed, we didn't point out there's some, some solitaires if you want to maybe get engaged for Christmas. 
Some more fun stuff in here. This is a gold match safe and a gold belt buckle. Very impressive pieces. And the T. Eaton, Eaton medallions there in gold as well. Uh, have a Google on that and see what that one's all about. There is love tokens that we were in the other cabinet. We sort of missed out on those ones. Lots of nice stuff in this room that we haven't even seen on camera. Behind me now, roughly 300 lots for coins. Now you'll be able to come in here and view this during the viewing on Friday the 5th from 4 to 8. To view them live in person, have a look at them, pick them up, smell them, taste them, whatever. Then the sale for these is not part of this weekend. It's going to be on the Thursday following and it's online or absentee only. So if you're a little intimidated by the online bidding, don't be afraid, talk to the guys in the office, give us a call, it's not as difficult as it sounds. And even if you don't want to do it live during, you can pre-bid sort of like an absentee style online or you can do it the old fashioned paper version. So come to the viewing, talk to uh, Michael specifically in the office and find out a little bit more about that. Let's go into the other room and have a look there. Again, like I mentioned earlier, the little over 800 lots on the sale. Um, roughly divided in half, 400 on each day. So the Monday's going to be a little longer day. We'll try to keep the pace up. Great antique pieces. This is an interesting smaller one. You can see display on the bottom and an inlaid panel on the top. Little music cabinet here. Here's a one, two, three, four, five uh, curved panels. Five curved glass panels on this one. You might remember from the last sale we, we couldn't find the shelves. Uh, so we didn't, we didn't sell it. So now we found the shelves and the keys and whatever. So it's all complete, ready to roll. This one here, I believe, is a little wardrobe. There we go. Wardrobe up top and a couple of doors on the bottom. Mesh green, mahogany, a modern piece here. This one's neat. I like this one. This is a gimmicky guy. The way it opens. How fun is that? It is illuminated. We don't have the lights on right now. Macado inside there. Blue opalescent up top. Nice collection there. Again, more, this is Ainsley in here, I believe. Some more blue opalescent on the bottom. Coming around here, here's a quarter cut oak harvest, harvest table. There's Crocs, there's rockers, there's collector plates, not our favorite thing as you know, but this one's got trains on it and everybody likes trains, so these ones are favorite. Drop leaf table here, there's a spinning wheel you can't see that's got a lot of characters, some audio uh, equipment here in this cabinet. It's all gonna be sold as one lot, including a laser disc player, a Pioneer laser disc player. So some people, if you still have those old disc players, you're a bit nostalgic, that there are some discs you might want to pick up a new player. This is probably out of the show home, not that I remember for sure um, everything, but it is a modern set there as well. A couple of flat panel TVs out of an estate here in, in the city, and the same house has some teak furniture that's in the sale. Quarter cut oak, round oak table here, one of two roll top desks, some primitive pieces in here. This one obviously at one point would have been painted or whatever, it's got a lot of character for a, for a, um, a primitive style piece. This is a Wedgwood set, pardon me, I have to look at the pattern, a Clio little luncheon set there, accordion inside here in a case, off, off camera here a mo more modern oak king size headboard footboard and rails so nice piece there, top quality, everything that came out of that home was top top quality, little art deco set here, three or four pieces to go along with that, draw leaf table, English table, six chairs I think it's all getting sold together, in here is show home pieces from Jamin, this is, I didn't go online to to see what this retails for. Uh, we did mark it, of course, in the catalog, lot number 126, and it is a Mobita, really funky looking. As soon as you look at it, it's just oozing quality, and when you feel it, you're just you're, you're reinforced that it's quality. So if you go and check online on those ones, I'm, I'm sure you'll find they're pretty spendy to buy. Modern coffee tables, this is the TV cabinet, of course. So the decor pieces, again, of the show home, show home here, probably show home there. The house uh, mentioned with the uh, <coughs> the double bed, everything was top quality. So this is top quality. I don't see a brand name on it, but it's got the kind of it's the kind of quality that should have a brand name on it. And there's two monster leaves back here, or three, three leaves to go insert leaves to go there. Two, four, six, eight chairs, including two carvers. Cute little oak desk there. It's a little awkward to get through there. Right, the T wagon. Oh, we've got to talk about the Carpenter Shark up here. This is a pretty neat piece. Have a look at that when you come in. A couple of pieces that sort of go together in that, uh, in that vein. Interesting, interesting stuff. Stuff you just don't see it very often. In here, this desk, same house as the other bed and, and table set I was talking about. It is a computer desk. So 
It looks like drawers, but really it's a pullout for things like printers and so on. Um, it's got places to put the wiring. It's even got a place to put in plugins. So it really is set up as a, it's a computer desk, so it's modern and really nice quality. So if, if that's your thing, if you're in the market, don't discount that. Little drop front serpentine, serpentine front secretaire. Nice quality on this one. I believe there's a brand name on this one. Can't think of hand, but it's excellent quality on this little knee hole desk here. A couple of matching lamps, and you get this one thrown in with it. Uh, again, nice, nice quality crystal. The usual selection of, I shouldn't say the usual selection, usual number of carpets in the sale. Every color you can imagine, every style, every size. So make sure you have a good luck at that. Some of it's 100% wool, 90% wool, um, some decor stuff, whatever. It's all in there. It's all, all good stuff too. A big monster cabinet here, very medieval looking, if you will. This is a set of Sterling Northumbria, I believe, on this side. Let me just clear some stuff out of the way. My bad for being a bit disorganized. There's some fun, fun stuff in this cabinet, including this top quality cloisonne pieces. You know, absolutely stunning. Uh, the Amari pieces there, Crown Derby Amari, beaded purses, more quality uh, cloisonne here. And uh, so this, is a, this is Sterling companion set there to go with your flatware. Some uh, bayonets and so on, more quality cloisonne. There really is some nice pieces inside there. Again, the sale is on Monday or Sunday the 7th from 11 o'clock and Monday the 8th from 6 o'clock and of course we're open a little bit before that for viewing. In this cabinet, Dalton, Dalton Lambeth, antique box there. Take a close look at lot number 648, the pewter tea set. Take a look at your catalog, do some research on that one. Carnival glass punch bowl set, some Balik, Wedgwood, top, top quality stuff there. I want you to pay close attention to this one in front of me in the Yamaha Grand Electric Piano. Black lacquered, obviously. It's in near mint condition. I haven't really seen a mark on it to speak of. Very expensive and desirable when they were new. Roughly $10,000 plus or minus. This is in as new condition. Comes with a bench, etc. It's got all sorts of features to help you learn, plus there are beautiful quality, fully weighted keys, a beautiful sound as you can possibly tell from the, just from the video itself. So don't discount that, that's got a great piece. Do some research on that, it's the Clavinova Yamaha Grand. Lots of data in the catalog for that. Mid 20th century carousel horse, have a good look at this one. I, I, you, don't, you, just, you just don't see them very often. The good heavy proper stand for it, lots of character. It's got everything going for it in coloring and, and just the right patina where it's been handled and rubbed and touched and whatnot. So that's an interesting piece. We like that. Mission style coat stand, coat pull, coat, uh, if you will. Really interesting piece there. Uh, almost nouveau style um, posts on it there. Neat office desk sitting behind a very nice quarter cup oak mission style single drawer desk. Really, really nice condition as well. Really ready to go home. Antique door stop. Very nice piece. Maybe we'll put that underneath it. Make sure you get your copies of Discovering Antiques. We usually have them in the in the building. This is a, an authentic style of of kayak with all the original or the the authentic style covering and construction. Uh, obviously done as a model. Very, very interesting. Not something that I'm an expert on by any means, but I certainly know I like what I see, that's for sure. Of course, you need to have one of these. It's a bar inside a globe. You can be a, a world drinker. Some stuff back here, clocks, etc. Down in here, I want you to pay close attention to this one. It's got quarter cut oak panels on the top. There's a glass protector on there. Uh, use it or don't use it, that's your, your business. The griffins on there. There's even a face on the pulls, the drawer pulls. Hand cut dovetails on the sides. It's all hand carved, everything's hand done. And down the, the uh, legs, which you can see are hand done legs, hand carved, you get to cast claw feet on top of a turned wooden ball 
um, supports. So very, very interesting. I, I've never seen one like it. I'm not sure what, what's going to happen with that one. Just something that we overlooked here. These are just like the Garnar Theater downtown. These would mount on the wall. There'd be globe on top and they'd be the lights. Very interesting. Obviously they're sitting upside down because they're a bit, a bit awkward to work with a book press here. Larger soapstone. You get a sense of how, how big everything is when you're doing that. This is a nice mahogany antique tilting table. I can't remember, I think I turned it around. I think it tilts this way. Nice stuff there. Teak, there's all kinds of teak inside here. Another Sony flat screen TV, Bravia. Lot number 58, you can have a look in your catalog for all that. Victorian crank table, don't have the crank, unfortunately, didn't come in with one. A leaf, you know, two feet wide almost. And a whole whack of chairs. I think it's in two lots though, so we're not gonna make you take 10 chairs, you're gonna have six and you can have four. Wedgwood China, I sold this once before, I don't know, 20 years ago almost, to a nice gal that, that, that has, is downsizing now. And it is, it is Wedgwood, gold Florentine I think it is. Gold Florentine, just in time for your Christmas dinner. There were some spelters off camera there. Behind me we've got a selection of Hummels and so on. Inside what is actually a really nice curved glass cabinet, only it's invisible. Well, I guess most glass is invisible, but this is you can put your hand in. Unfortunately, the glass is missing, so you can deal with that. It can be dealt with, not the end of the world. Gramophone down there, sewing machine. Um, again, interesting plates up there. Nice antique sideboard, Marcroft. I think it was in the last sale. I'm not sure why it's back. Sometimes the stuff don't get paid for, and that's how people get in trouble. These are again, obviously, out of the out of the. Uh, coffee shop downtown. These are a couple of deli coolers. This one's really neat with the retro look to it. That one's favorite. And just as we wrap things up, I'm going to show you some of the sterling because there's some really fun stuff in here. I think virtually everything in this cabinet that we're looking at is in fact sterling. Uh, little match saves, teapot, open salts, um, comports, etc. This little piece here is is made by Samson Morden in London and he held the patent at one time for the mechanical pencil and he always made uh, little things like this, the mechanical pencil, it would be little perfumes, little scents, whatever. It was always smaller stuff like that. So essentially that's it. I think we've, we've covered enough stuff. Lots to look at. Have a look at the website wardsauctions.com. The sale is 118 125th Street in Edmonton, Wards Auctions. Uh, phone number is 780-451-4549. You can do online bidding, uh, the, the whole shoot and match. The, go to the website to find all the details. Obviously you're online if you're seeing this. And thank you very much for watching.